Hi everyone and welcome to this Excel tips video where we look at how to get the sum of the filtered data in Excel. So here I have a table and I want to filter by subject and get the sum of the filtered data. So the most common formula to get the sum of in a column is the sum formula itself. So let us see if that formula works here. I will say sum, give the range and I get this value here. So let us now try and filter to a subject and see if it is working as expected. So I select chemistry and as you can see here, the value has not changed. So the sum formula is not suitable for our scenario here. So let us now go back unfilter and we will try a different formula here. In order to get the sum of visible cells, we will use the subtotal formula. The subtotal formula is a very versatile formula and it can perform 11 functions, sum being just one of them. We will say equal to subtotal. Now the subtotal formula takes in two parameters. The first is the function number that we want and we want sum here so we will just go here and click sum so it enters 9 excel will enter 9 here just give comma and we will just select the range that we want to do it similar to the sum formula and now as you can see the subtotal formula is also giving us the same result as a sum formula but watch what happens when we filter it if for example if i just go by chemistry you can see it has given me the filtered sum or whatever is the visible cells it is giving me the sum of the visible cells in this filter so this is so using subtotal formula we can find out the sum of the filtered data in a column do click the like button if this video was useful to you Thank you and have a wonderful day.